<clears throat> Hello everybody, my name is Jacob and I'm a Children's Reference, Reference Assistant at Pure Public Libraries North Branch. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about how to do some crafts for your mental health. Uh, today specifically uh, for this segment there's going to be two parts to it. Uh, this is the first video uh, for mental health crafts. Uh, we're going to be talking about friendship rocks. So Friendship rocks, they're, they kind of look like this. You decorate them however you want, uh, paint them, and then put a little heart in the middle. <clears throat> um, they are great for uh, just spreading good awareness to your neighbors, your friends, and your family to let them know that you're thinking of them. Because uh, some people are alone, and it's good to have a good reminder that we're, um, even though we're separated, we're not alone and we there's still people out there that care for us so uh, to get started the few basic things that you need for a friendship rock um, is just any rock that you find um, preferably um, it, it needs to be smooth and flat and just makes it easier to color in a heart at the end uh, but it can be any rock really so in addition to the rock You'll, you'll see that I have this white piece of paper here. It's a little bit of like a laminated construction paper. Just use that. You can use anything. Uh, the idea is to not go out um, and need to buy stuff for this. It's completely whatever you have in your home. Uh, I found this rock on a run the other day, so that's how I got my rocks. Uh, but you can find them in your backyard. Very easy to find. Don't go out to stores and buy things uh, if you can prevent it. So I have this piece. Use whatever you need to cover the table. This is just what I'm using right now. I also have a little cup of um, it's a fruit cup. It's the leftover fruit cup. I washed it out and I'm using it for water so we can rinse our brushes. And I have some brushes. You might not have brushes so feel free to use maybe a sponge, even your finger, um, anything that you find around the house that you think would be good to just spread the paint on the rock. I have these two specifically. Uh, this one I'm going to use to paint the rock, and then this one I'm going to use. It's a little tinier. It's a very fine tip. I'm going to use it to paint the heart. <clears throat> In addition to these things, you'll also need some paint. Uh, I have a bunch of paint right here. I uh, ended up just choosing light purple though because it's a pretty nice color to me and then oh let me switch out real quick so I'm also going to be using red for the heart but you can use any color that you want this is completely your craft so to start off like I said we can oh and then you'll also need uh, a paper plate uh, or something else. It could even be another one of these cups just to put the paint in. I found that the paper plate works best if you're using mul if you're painting multiple rocks at a time. You can just put them on like a little spin wheel, like your different colors. So we'll go ahead and get started. We'll shake up the paint real quick. You don't need too much because it's not your rock's probably not too big. Um, but if it is, go ahead and use as much as you need. All right, so yep, all you have to do to get started, I um, just place the rock down. Um, if it's a flat rock, that works perfect. You don't even have to touch it. Um, you just paint around it. And then so just to save a little bit of time on this, um, this is kind of how you do it. Uh, but I have, I'm not going to go ahead and finish my rock. I'll just paint the top of it real quick to give you the idea. So, that, that'll probably be good uh, for this. Right here, I am. So, this is going to dry, and then you just flip it over. So, I would just flip it over to the next side, start painting that. Um, but to save a little time for you guys, you, um, I went ahead and painted a rock ahead of time. So, once you get the first side done, you just flip it over and start painting the other side. And just to, 
Like I said, if you use your multiple colors, it's great to rinse it out um, before touching another color. Unless you want to mix colors, you can go ahead and do that. Now I'm going to show you how to paint the heart. So I did see on Pinterest that some people are using their fingers. Um, I think my fingers are probably a little too big for that. Or um, I really don't know how to do that. I've considered it. Um, didn't really work out for me. But we'll go ahead and use this part of the rock for ours. For me, I just started um, like with, a, with just a line going straight up. And then I made the first part of the rock, I mean the first part of the heart, like that. And then I dipped my brush again. Made the second part of the heart. So that's how it looks before you fill it in. And then I did go ahead and fill it in on my other rocks. And it ends up looking like that. So this one's going to take a little bit to dry. Um, once that's all done, though, that's pretty much how you paint um, friendship rocks. I ended up doing five on my own time because um, I liked the idea so much. So there's one. That's the same color we just did. There's another one I did, and I got five of them. So there's an orange one, a blue one, and then I did a white one as well with the heart. So the idea about these is that you go out and to your neighbors and just drop them off on their porches. If you want to ring their doorbell to let them know that you are leaving the rock behind, um, you can do that as well. Um, just always remember to practice six foot distancing. Um, but for me specifically, I'll probably do this here shortly after the video <clears throat> and drop them off to my neighbors. I'm not going to say anything just to keep that social distancing. Um, but that's it. That's how you make friendship rocks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you stay tuned for part two um, of mental health, the next video is going to be about how to make uh, thankful jars for your household. All right, thanks. Bye.